Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my updated travel makeup bag. I actually also got my skincare in this little bag right here. It's a bag I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, but I haven't done one of these in quite some time. Granted, I didn't travel at all last year, but I have done two of these on my channel. I did one several years ago showing you guys the bag I like to travel with when I would fly. And then I shared with, I think the last one I was sharing with you guys was this one. And this was like what I would take with me if I was just driving somewhere. I still like this, but it's a little bit, it's like bulky because you just throw all of your items in here, which again, I don't mind. There's like nothing wrong with this, but I do prefer the style of the one I have now. This one does have a top to it. This is by Tartan Twine, I think is the brand. You can get this at Ulta, Belks, anywhere like that, but this one's a little bit dirty. But yeah, I do like this bag, but I do prefer the one that I have now. I did want to get like a smaller bag, which this doesn't look smaller, but... I'll, let me just go ahead and show you guys. So I got this one off of Amazon. It does have a pocket right here, which I never use. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Let's see. I pulled this up. I'm not sure if this is a price of when I paid for this because I had to go um, back a ways. But right now, you can get this bag in two different sizes. I have the size medium, and then you can get the size large. They have a variety of different colors. Um, I got the color navy blue, and it's just got like um, gold detailing, but that was it's $22.99 right now. So um, I really, really, really love this. And what kind of inspired me to do this is me and my sister are actually taking a very small trip. This is just the makeup that I would take if I was just going to be going a few days. Um, like we're staying for two nights, three days, I believe. And we're not flying, we're driving, and we're staying in an Airbnb that's got a kitchen. And we're just going to get groceries and cook our own food there. So we're not having to like go out and eat or we're going to get to go food. But guys, when I tell you, <laughs> this, was a, this was initially a surprise for my sister for my birthday. But like... For us both to like, just just when she was telling me about this, like the relief of just getting out of this area and just getting away from our jobs just for a few days, I feel like it's just going to be so good on both our mental health. So I'm just really excited. And again, like I said, just excited to share this with you guys. So I'll link this bag down below. Um, the first thing I want to say that I do really like about this is I like the double handles that it has here, whereas this other bag has just one handle. Um, if you guys, like I said, have watched my previous ones, you'll know that I prefer this style of makeup bag. So it opens up like this, and then this actually unfolds like this, where you can hang it. So you've got four little pouches here, two and four. So basically, I keep my makeup um, pretty much in these two. There's a few like chunkier items, like the my little beauty sponge that I keep in here. But this is, like I said, what um, I keep all my skincare with me and what I feel like is the amount of makeup that I'm going to need for like just traveling a few days. If I'm going somewhere like the beach, I'm usually going for about nine days. So I usually take a few different foundations because usually when I go to the beach, my skin gets a little bit drier. I also need like usually another shade as well. But with a trip like this, I know that my skin is probably not going to change, especially just going to be going for, like I said, three days. And I also know that, again, I'm probably not going to get much of a tan. I'm definitely, you know, all about the sunscreen, which I think I actually forgot to put my sunscreen in here. It might be in here. I can't remember. But anyway, so I am going to go ahead and start up here at the top row. And again, this is amazing, guys. This hooks on the door, which makes this really nice. It's easy to fold back up. These are super easy to clean. They wipe right out. So if you get any makeup or anything, it's not like that cloth material where you just can't get it off. They wipe out, which, again, I think is super nice. So starting here on the top. I do have my brushes, which like I said, I'll go ahead and take all of these out so I can just go over everything I have in here um, with you guys. All right, so I'll actually start out with the tools that was in with the brushes first. So I actually like to take a lip pencil sharpener because this is like the one that come with the Pat McGrath one and I'm obsessed with that lip liner. It's what I wear pretty much, I probably it's the only lip liner I've worn in like months. I think with like one or two others, but I always like to make sure I have one of these in my travel makeup bag. And that also works with eyeliner as well, but most of the eyeliner I have is retractable. Um, and then of course I like to keep my tweezers in there. And then I like to keep just some like little eyebrow scissors. This works great also if you're someone who likes to take lashes or a new set of lashes and you have to trim them. I'm someone that I don't really ever take lashes with me when I travel because that's honestly the last thing I want to do when I'm going on vacation. Like I like getting all like dolled up if we're going out for like a night out or something. But that's definitely not what we're doing this time because of everything that's going on. This is more of a chill laid back just like me and my sister kind of vacation we will be going to the beach for just one day um but um again like i said i'm really good about my sunscreen stuff now so <laughs> 
Um, that is all the tools that I actually take with me. Like that is it. I don't take um, anything else. And then I'm just going to go through my brushes really quick. So I don't take a foundation brush because I use my sponge for both my foundation and my concealer. I also use that brush to set underneath my eyes. Um, so moving um, after I set underneath my eyes though, I do like to take a brush like this and just kind of dust away any excess powder. This one's super soft. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's one of their marble collections. It's the number three. Really, really like that brush. I've had it for years. And then I like to take just a bronzer brush. I like this one. I like the shape of this because I can also go like this if I feel like I need to contour a little bit more. Just kind of want to define my cheeks. This is kind of like a two-in-one brush for me. This is the Ulta Beauty Powder Brush. A lot of these brushes might sound familiar because I know I've had them for a few years. And I feel like that's one of those things that you know they're good brushes if you can also travel with them. Um, now moving on for blush, I love this one from Japanesque, which I don't know if you can still get this brand anywhere. I know it's on Amazon. This is the 961. This is the blush brush. I love this. This is quite small, so it fits really well on my cheeks, which I like because a lot of blush brushes can be quite big for my face, but I love this. It's amazing. It blends out the uh, blush really well without packing it on. And then, um, of course, oh, I did skip. So if I do have a cream bronzer, which I didn't take one with me this time, I really like this Wet n Wild one. I'm not sure. It has like, it looks like a tail right here. But this is, again, just a small brush that makes it really easy to kind of contour. I've been loving the Patrick Tall one, so that's the whole reason that was in there. But I am not going to end up taking that with me. Then for a highlighting brush, I really like this one from Sonia Kashuk. It's really pretty. It's from her, like, Rose Gold collection. Just works extremely well. I feel like applying highlighter where I can put a little more pressure on it to really make that highlighter blinding. Or I can just go in and just barely buff it out. And it's just, like, a really pretty, I feel like, more of, like, a natural highlight like I have on today. And then I always take a stippling brush because I use this to blend out my bronzer and my blush just kind of all together so it's more seamless. And then, of course, I like to take a spoolie. And then this is a very, like, small, detailed, like, um, eyeliner brush, which I actually use on my brows. And then I like to take just a variety of blending brushes. Like, I'm just going to jerk all these up here. And then a few, like, shadow brushes or if I need to clean up around my brows. This is the LMR brush. I don't know the number on this because it's rubbed off. And then this is a BH Cosmetics brush in number five. And these are just like different sizes. And then I've got an Eco Tools brush. Traveling is actually, believe it or not, when I love dual ended brushes. So I think that they're great because you're not standing up, them up. And you're, again, saving a lot of space when you take these. But this just has like a little, what I'd use for like eyeliner or just to like buff out my lower lash line. And then just a really nice like uh, crease brush. And then I've got several Morphe ones in here. This is an E19. Um, an E28, an E23, and then um, this is from that little Amazon um, favorites. If you guys seen that, this is the one of the eyebrow sets in there. I love this for like really um, putting uh, color on my inner corner. And then I have a detail brush from Moda that I just use again. Just like a little variety. I don't take a lot of brushes because again, nine times out of ten, I'm pretty much like like shadow on my lid, mascara, and done. Because I feel like. Especially now that I've gotten older, I used to be someone that, guys, I'm telling you guys, like, I took two suitcases with me when I'd go to the beach, which was just, it was ridiculous because I wouldn't wear half the clothes in there. I wouldn't use half the stuff. I'd take so much makeup, and I'd end up just wearing mascara and maybe doing, like, crazy, I wouldn't say crazy, but more dramatic eye makeup, like, if we were going out to eat when it was really nice. But now that I'm older, I'm just like, I'm on vacation. I want to enjoy myself, like, you know, doing a lot of makeup's the last thing I want to do, but I still enjoy it. But vacation, definitely as I've gotten older, is more of a relaxing thing for me. But this is not going to be a relaxing one because we've got so much we want to do in so few days. But I, like I said, I know I know we're going to have such a good time. So again, super excited. So right, guys, so that's everything from the first bag though. But this is the second bag, which is mostly skincare. I do have one makeup or two makeup products in here that just wouldn't fit in this third bag here. But the third bag actually has two zippers, which again makes it really nice to get in through either side. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump down to this one and then we'll kind of come back to what skincare I like to take with me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start out with primer. Again, my skin has just been kind of weird. So I do have two primers in here, which I, in all honesty, will probably take out. I think I'll probably just end up taking my mattifying one. And if for some odd reason my skin's a little more dry, what I'll do is I'll just put on a little more of my regular moisturizer. But I do have two in here at the moment. I have the Smashbox Primerizer, which I like, but I definitely feel like I need to use this with a matte foundation because if I don't, I feel like my skin starts to look too dewy. But then I love this one in my T-zone. I love to put it, like I said, on my chin here, just right here in the center of my forehead. And this just works excellent at keeping my skin really nice and matte throughout the day. Uh, that's the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier, and I love that one. Again, a product I've 
been talking about for quite some time. And then um, I'm going to grab the foundation that's in the other bag. I wouldn't normally, like I said, take two foundations either, but my skin, like I said, is just, I, I don't know what's going on. But I am taking the Soap and Glory uh, foundation, the shade 02. Again, this is a favorite I've been talking about for a really long time. And then my Urban Decay Stay Naked. I love this. This has been my go-to foundation recently, especially with having to wear my mask. And guys, when I tell you, it has been so hot and so humid. Like, I know that's why I'm breaking out so incredibly bad along my jawline and like right here because it's like where the mask sets. But anyways, I do. I really, really love this. It's just been holding up so incredibly well in the humidity. So again, taking these both, this works really well if my skin's going to be a little bit more on the normal side and this works really great if my skin's going to be oily. Um, so I didn't want to, like I said, bring those. Now I am bringing two concealers as well. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage in the Stayed Porcelain. Again, a product I've talked about for years. It just works so incredibly well for me. But I'm also bringing the Urban Decay Stay Naked in 30 and in because I have been loving on days that I'm not at work taking this and putting it on any sort of breakouts. Like right here, I have a really bad one if you guys can see because I, yeah, 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 you can see it. <laughs> and putting them on like any breakouts I have on my chin. I have the Pat McGrath foundation on. It's more thin coverage, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. Um, but I like putting this on any sort of breakouts and then going over to top of it with a powder foundation. It's so incredibly quick, so easy, and it looks so good. So I want to take that in case, like I said, we wake up one morning, just wanted to, you know, just quick, some, throw on something quick. So, all right. Um, I do want to go ahead and get that powder out of the way though, um, that I use. It's the Makeup Forever Powder, the Matte Velvet Skin. I have the shade Y225. Again, you guys are going to see, I love this powder. This will again probably be another repurchase when the Sephora, uh, Sephora does their sale. Or if they have a Black Friday sale on Make It Forever or Viseart, I'll probably do that because usually, like I said, it's 25% when they do their sales. Um, to set my under eyes, though, this is my favorite. It's the Viseart, um, what is this, just setting powder is all it is. It's my favorite setting powder of all times. I've yet to find anything that sets my under eyes as well as this does. I know this has talc in it, so I know it won't be for everybody, but it's perfect for me. And I just honestly, this is that one product that I think will be with me till like the end of time. <laughs> so, all right, moving on to um, blush. So this is something that I really want to work on. I would like to find a blush and like highlighter palette that has maybe like two blushes that work for me and then two highlights. Because I do bring two blushes with me almost all the time. This is a Clinique one. Unfortunately, this is limited edition. But this comes with a beautiful like pink. I'd say more of like a neutral. Maybe like a slightly cooler undertone. Which is gorgeous. And then I'll put this on top. And that combination just like warms it up just a little bit. But these are so, so incredibly beautiful. And they leave such a gorgeous, I feel like almost like glow on the cheeks. I mean, I love the Clinique Cheek Pops. Again, talked about these for such a long time. But it's because they are so incredibly beautiful. So... Um, definitely had to bring that one, but for highlight, I have really been enjoying the Tickle Highlight by Benefit, and this is the only size I have. I have Cookie in the full size, but I love this blush right here, California. It's what I've got on today. It's actually the blush that I've pretty much been wearing nonstop as well. It's incredibly gorgeous. This does have the shade Dandelion in it, which is a matte. I find this shade to be quite powdery, but I, it still looks beautiful, but you kind of got to blend it up and blend it out to kind of get more of like a seamless look. But again, this highlight is like a pinky gold. I feel like in certain lights it looks gold and then in certain lights it looks pink. But I feel like it kind of works, you know, like no matter what look that I use or no matter what look that I do. So this is the highlighter that I chose to bring with me. Um, again, uh, super quick, super easy. And then bronzer. So uh, this is quite a big bronzer to bring, but I will not be taking my big mirror with me. I have a mirror here that has little lights around it. And usually that is a product I would take with me. But again, I'm just going to take this. It has a huge mirror. I'm not going to blind you guys right here. I love this bronzer. It's a matte bronzer, but I feel like it doesn't look super matte, but it lasts on my skin all day. And what's really nice about this is I can really build up the color if I do get a little bit of a tan, and it works for me as well, and it works for me um, now. So yeah, this is fantastic, um, and again, I love it. So. All right, moving on to eyes. So again, I'm taking one eyeshadow palette. I'm taking the ABH Sultry palette. I love cool tone eyeshadows. I love this palette. It's, again, I did a super simple look today, just like this twig shade all over my lid, and then I just take took the shade, shade. I cannot talk today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> took this black shade right here and just kind of lined just a little bit and like buffed it out. So just super quick, super easy. The only other shade that I brought was this shade from Ace Beauty, and this is in the shade Cotton Candy, and this is a very like unique pink shade that I feel like really makes my blue eyes pop, so if I am wanting to get a little bit, I feel like, fancier, I can mix these two together, and 
again, it just, it creates a beautiful look. I've done this before, so um, that's all I'm going to be taking. I almost took the Zodiac and ColourPop palette, but I feel like I take that one with me every single time, which I guess is a good thing, but I wanted to kind of mix it up, so. All right, as far as eyeliner, I don't wear much eyeliner in the summer times because my eyes water a lot because of allergies, but if I do, it's a black, so that's all I'm taking, my Marc Jacobs black eyeliner. Again, I know it works, so that's what I'm going to take. Um, for mascara, I am actually taking two. I am taking a waterproof one. It's the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I actually have not tried this one yet, so I'm hoping. I have tried the regular version, but I, I just honestly don't remember, so I did repurchase it. And then I'm taking my Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara, which I'm obsessed with. This mascara is so good. Like, I feel like it's a lot better since it's dried out a little bit, but yeah, I, like, I, I love this. Again, this will be a repurchase. Honestly, I think everything I've tried from Pat McGrath now I'm obsessed with, which I hate because it's so expensive, but it is a really, really great mascara. All right, so um, for my brows, I, of course, have to take my Gimme Brow by Benefit and then my Precisely My Brow pencil. This is, again, just super quick, super easy. I can just do my brows so quick. And then I do actually take a brow powder. It's the ABH one in medium brown. Again, I've used this for years. I like this just to kind of darken up my tail just a little bit, so... Again, all I'm going to need for my brows. And then lastly for lips, I'm just taking nudes because honestly, that's what I've been wearing. I mean, I've got a red on today because I was just feeling like red would look just, I don't know. I just want a red. So like I said, I am, of course, taking my Pat McGrath um, lip pencil in the shade Contour. And then, again, I just, I'm obsessed <laughs> with anything Pat McGrath lately. And then I am taking two lipsticks. And this is um, from L'Oreal. This is the co collections that they do. This is J.Lo, Jennifer's Nude. And, guys, this is such a gorgeous nude shade. I know I've talked about it in a favorites video before. Um, it just goes with pretty much everything. But I am also taking the... Um, all may one or all may one and go wild this one is a matte i find that this one's a little bit more neutral whereas the jennifer's nude i find to be just a tad bit more not like too much more but just a little bit more onto the cool tone side so i'm taking both those and then i'm taking this new gloss by the ritzy in the shade vibe again just super simple and also i do have a few lip colors that's always in my purse that i keep with me um so it's one of those things where i feel like i do have quite a few options wherever i go all right, so all that is left is skincare. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Like I said, my skincare is just kind of is in here and then down here in the very bottom. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is my cleanser. And this is my CeraVe uh, Foaming face, Facial Cleanser. Used to, I used to take the time to pump these out in smaller travel containers, but I just, that's just too much now. Like I said, I, I'm such a planner now that like, now that I've, I know I have all this in here set right where everything's going to fit in my bag. Like, we don't leave until um, towards the end of August, but I'm already ready, and it's, what is it? It's July 28th. But, but see, I'm packed up, and I know I'm ready to go, so if I feel like I've forgotten anything, I'll remember by then. But anyways, um, I love this cleanser. It's just, it's worked so well for me. I use it in the morning and the evening now. I ran out to my Use of the People one, and honestly, I won't repurchase that just because I prefer the CeraVe one. Um... Oh, and also my little sponge is in there. This is a little beauty bin blender container, but there's actually a real technique. No, this is e.l.f., an e.l.f. sponge in there. So um, I just keep, like I said, my little sponge in there. And then for in the morning, I do like to take this Ordinary Niacinamide and then my uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And I actually put just a little bit of this into that and like work it together in the back of my hand and then apply it to my face. Again, this combination just always works so incredibly well for me. I am trying out this, like I said, mask. It's I bought it, I, I'm thinking during the Sephora sale, but I've used it a few times and I really like it. But I had stopped using it and I feel like my skin hadn't gotten used to it. Does that make sense? And like I use it's a herbivore mask. Like I said, I was like obsessed with that and it does such a good job. But I hadn't used it in such a long time and I used it the other night and I think that might be just kind of what's got my skin. Not irritated, but I do feel like it's a little bit dry. Um, then for nighttime, I always put this on. It's the Exfoli um, Exfoliate by Paula's Choice. Again, it just it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, one of those products that just were always works for me. And then I do take two moisturizers. So I do have this Use to the People one that I'm finishing up. So you guys can see there's just a little bit left in there. Um, I do have a new one of these on my way because I do like this moisturizer. But I've been trying this one out. Is this by Avene? A V. Sorry, it's white, so it's like hard to tell. Let's pull it back here. 
but this is their emulsion it's the light one and I don't know about this like it's okay but I haven't fallen in love with it yet and I've kind of been going between these two but this hasn't broke me out or anything but I just it hasn't blown my mind either but I want to finish this up because I think I want to try this on its own and see how it does and then lastly I have this little use of the people eye cream you need the smallest amount of this it just feels really good underneath my under eyes and I feel like hydrates them really nicely so yep just been using that so all right and then lastly because I feel like this video has been just like a really long one um, I always take my Foria with me. I will be honest though. I have not been like religiously using this, but it, I have started again. It's just when it goes dead. It's like I forget to take it out of the bathroom and charge it, but I love this. And like I said, I do feel like it's really been helping with any of those like breakouts I've been getting like right here and right here. I just feel like it does such a good job. It just cleansing my skin. So this is a tool for me that anytime I forget it and I start back using it, I'm like, why did I stop? So, but yeah, it's really, really good. Um, I do also like to keep my little eyelash curler, which should have been in the bag up top. I'm not sure why I had it um, in here. And then I like to always take a few cotton rounds with me and a few Q-tips. And then I do like to take my facial razor as well with me. Um, these are the chic ones. I get these off of Amazon. And my sunscreen was in there. So this is the SkinCeuticals Physical Matte UV Defense Sunscreen. So this has actually got a tint to it. And believe it or not, the tint does a pretty good job. But I feel like adding a slight amount of coverage and just evening out my skin tone I love this. This is a product that I put on every single morning and then I'll go in with that Urban Decay Concealer and then any dots that I really need to, like I said, conceal, I'll go over top with that and a powder foundation and done. And that, like, that is it if I feel like my skin's really bothering me and I need a little bit of coverage. But yeah, I love this. It's been doing a really good job. The first time I tried that though, like it felt like uh, kind of sandy, but I don't know if it was just like the first amount of product that was coming out, but like I don't feel that feel anymore or I've gotten used to it, but yeah. All right guys, so let me just show you the bag completely empty. So this is what it looks like, completely empty. This is great. My last one I had, you could actually remove these with like Velcro if you didn't need all of them. But this is great and one of the reasons that I do prefer makeup bags like this is that even if you're not flying and you are traveling and you're throwing your suitcase on, suitcases on top of each other, things can bust. I mean, I've had it happen a lot of times, but if they bust, it's secluded to like this one um, like little area. It's not going to get over every single thing. And like I said, I know that it'll still get on some things. Like for example, if I'd had my skincare and everything in here with my brushes or something and it was to bust, it would get over absolutely everything where this is going to kind of just be contained to like each section. And like I said, this material is just super easy to clean. I love it. I love this one. Like I said, you can open on both ends, but yeah, um, really, really love this. And I'll go ahead and show you guys just what it looks like zipping it up. I feel like mine looks like it's had a lot of wear, but like I said, she's, she's been doing good. She's been holding up. This does come in a lot of uh, different uh, colors as well, but yeah. So if you guys are interested in this, I will link it down below. I think you can get a larger size if you're someone who you feel like you'd have quite a bit more makeup than this, but again, I do really, really like this. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. And are you guys traveling anywhere yet this year? Or are you guys still worried? Like, I was honestly still worried, but like, I didn't realize how much I needed this trip until like my sister surprised me with it like because you know of course she had to tell me so I could like pack my bags and stuff but like I just it's gonna be so good to get away from here for just a few days I feel like that's such an awful thing to say but like I don't know I'm just so grateful to actually get a few days away from here especially away from work and just <laughs> just relax so yeah um anyways thank you guys so much for watching my video and if you're new here please subscribe and as always thank you guys so much for watching